Hi folks, Chris Foss here from the Chris Foss Show. Come to ChrisFossShow.com. Here blog post we're going to share with you, of course, we review the latest in social media and technology. Be sure to give us a like, subscribe to us on YouTube, and be sure to follow us for all the cool phones that we're always updating and reviewing from all the major phone carriers. Uh, today, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the new Motorola Moto X camera and how it works, how it operates, and how good it is, and what our feelings, thoughts are about it. Thanks to AT&T at AT&T.com for sharing the phone with us, by the way, and be sure to check out them and all the great phones that they have. Let's get right into this. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, camera on the Moto X and see how it works and all that good stuff. Now, it's got some interesting features to it. Uh, you can see here there's a button at the top for video, and there's a button down at the bottom right for uh, switching from your front camera to your back camera. Uh, there's also a zoom feature by moving your finger up and down. You can see in your upper left-hand corner there, uh, you can do a zoom. You can also, pulling in from the left to the right, uh, be able to activate HDR, flash, different settings, slow motion, et cetera, set of panoramic, uh, all sorts of different things, et cetera, et cetera. You can even activate opening the camera by swiveling your wrist kind of in a corkscrew motion. It takes a little bit of work to kind of figure out how to do the corkscrew thing, but um, I don't know, it's there. Uh, if you slide from the right to the left, you can get into your uh, area of gallery to see the photos. So pretty simple in its nature. When you want to take a photo, you just put your finger at the point of focus you want to take and do, and it will take the photo for you and all that good stuff. So let's take a look at our gallery and some of the pictures that we got. Now it takes really good pictures. Uh, the nice thing is it doesn't seem to be manufactured on the color and everything that the pictures will take. There's no, uh, we've seen some you know, companies that will take and give their photos more pop. The video is great. And of course 60 frames per second on the video really gives it So we're testing how good the video frame. camera is and everything else. And it looks really nice. It does a good job. Uh, you, can, you can't complain at all. It does great video. Uh, it does great photos, too. Of course, you can see those here. And, of course, all the colors are well balanced. Now, one thing it did do is it took really good close-up kind of macro-style shots. You can see here, this doesn't look as good as you can see it in real life, at least from what I'm seeing through the camera. But uh, this is really close, almost a macro shot. I'm almost right up against the cactus when I shot this. And... Uh, so this is a really good shot. As you can see, it's very detailed and very well done. So a uh, great camera from that angle. You can see here colors pop in the thing that it uses. Now the flash on it and the lamp for the video is really, really good. As you can see here, I had to work with a closet because it was the only dark space I could find in the middle of the day. Flash does an exceptional job of lighting up everything and, of course, being able to quickly focus and get great pictures. Here's another totally dark closet that we're in. As you can see here, the lamp flash does a great job of lighting up a huge amount of uh, light that is coming into it and uh, making it a great uh, experience with uh, you know dark settings. So great camera from that angle. And uh, the aspects of uh, working with the uh, you know, swiping left, right, up and down sort of thing. Uh, take a little while, get, a little bit to get used to, not much. Uh, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple and easy to do. So there you have it. I like the camera on the Moto X. It definitely does a good job. I like the 60 frames per second, and the video seems to be really rich. So uh, check it out. You can go to att.com. That's att.com. Tell them Chris Voss sent you. Chris Voss tested. Chris Voss proved. Be sure to see our other reviews and comparison videos we'll be doing on the Moto X on the Chris Voss Show channel. And um, be sure to check back off and give us a like. Subscribe to us. Thanks.